See that little nest spoon I got up there? That was the first realistic art I had ever done with wood burning. I had a cheap little soldering iron tool that I had used and it was pretty pathetic. It took me days to make that tiny little spoon. There's a nest on the front and leaves on the back. And now that I have an upgraded machine and a lot more experience, I thought I would try it on a birch bowl. It sounded fun. The only way I could get a really beautiful shaded look with the cheap little soldering wood burning tool that I had was to do pointillism art or stippling. And so that's what I did. And with the new art and an upgraded machine, I went ahead and did the stippling again just to see how it would differ. And not only was it faster, but there's more contrast because I'm able to up the heat and there's more shading because I'm able to switch out the tips and use a shading tip afterward. It's just all around better. And then on the outside, I burned some leaves, but this time I did them a little more realistically. And I also added an optical illusion. I thought it would be really cool to have a mama bird and a papa bird guarding the nest but I didn't want them to be painfully obvious at the beginning. At the same time that I also want them to stand out. I want you to be able to see them. So I turned the leaves into a mama bird and a papa bird, and I thought it would be fun to record the process for you. So this is where I am burning my optical illusion. This time I started with the shading after I outlined them in the stippling and then I did pointillism afterwards because I really wanted to make sure that these leaves looked shaded like a bird. Now if I were to do this again, I would start with pointillism and shade with pointillism and then come back in and shade again with my uh, shading tip because I really liked the look of the inside of the nest and that's what I did there was pointillism, shading with the pointillism and then extra shading with the shading tip. And I just feel like it gave it a much fresher feel and a much stronger contrast. But by the same token, because I did the shading first, the birds were a lot darker and when I burned in the nest behind it, I was able to do a very light stippling so that the birds really stood out. So maybe in the end, it really was better that I did it this way. Now, if you want to try burning on a bowl or another curved surface, I really recommend using bean bags. It was so helpful to prop my wrist up on something higher to make my wrist level with the surface I was burning. And sometimes I propped the bowl on the bean bag itself. Now, when I was done burning all of that, I tried outlining my name instead of just signing my name. And after I blackened the edges, I finished the bowl with my handmade wood butter that I use for all of my kitchen wood. Do you see the papa bird? Kind of stands out, doesn't he? And there's the mama bird. And there, my friends, is the finished bowl.